Hey guys, welcome back to Iggy's Toy Parade and Soldier Review. This is your host, Iggy, and uh, this video is going to be sort of a hodgepodge video. Uh, what I have on display here is bits and pieces of things that I found in various boxes that uh, I didn't have enough figures to make a themed video so I'm just putting these things together and uh, see what you think. It's the first time I've done something like this, so we'll see how it goes. So up on the top uh, is a uh, wagon by Sherylia Toys. That's an English company. And you can tell it's uh, not Tempo because it's much larger. And by the horses... Also, the figure is, it's a tempo style figure, but it's much larger than uh, 54 millimeter. It's more of a 60 or 70. So that's how you can tell that this is not a tempo wagon. And uh, next to that is two original vintage marks, what they call Delta trees because of the shape. And below that is an unknown. Uh, I know that this, I bought this on eBay from a guy in Italy. And when I bought it, it was in a header bag. And I wish I had kept it in the bag because now I don't know anything about it. Uh, it's probably made in Hong Kong, but it could have been made in Italy. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. But it's about a 45 millimeter scale. Uh, let me get a 132 figure and put it next to it so you can see that it's a little on the small side. So there's a figure, uh, 54 millimeter or 132 scale figure standing next to the stagecoach. And you can see that the horses are very small see that thing the guy is looks like a giant next to the horses maybe they're little ponies i don't know okay next to that is a reproduction of some marx figures and these are character figures from their johnny tremaine playset now uh, johnny tremaine was a disney movie and uh i think it was 1954 but i would have to look it up uh, i have the uh dvd in my collection but it's been a while since i watched it but uh what's nice about these figures is they have it uh stamped below each one uh who the figures are so we have um uh, Johnny Tremaine, which is this figure here. We have Paul Revere. We have uh, James Otis. Can you see that, guys? Right, let me move this. Move this Sioux Indian out of the way. Uh, there's uh, James Otis, who was a political activist in Boston and one of the founding fathers. We also have Samuel Adams. Uh, we have the printer that Johnny works for in the movie. I don't know if he's based on a real person. It says who he is on the bottom there. Right, let me get my glasses on. I can't see him. Oh God, it sucks getting old. All right, so let's take a look at what I still can't see it. Hold on. It says his name is Rab Silby. No, Rab, yeah, Rab Silby. So I don't know if that's a real person or a character. Uh, this is Johnny Tremaine's love interest. And... She's just says Scylla, C-I-L-L-A, Scylla. 
So that's her there. You know, it's funny that movie was made, you know, 65, 66 years ago. And the, the cute young girl that was in that movie, she's probably close to 90 if she's still alive. I always That always freaks me out for some reason. You see this young person in uh, the prime of their life, and then you realize that uh, th their life is past. Anyway, uh, n next up is Toy Soldiers of San Diego. Are these marked on the bottom? I don't see any marking. So let's put the this fella back up here. Of course, the... And uh, that's not all of them. My friend Doug gave those to me because uh, he only wanted a, a couple figures out of the set. So he gave me the remainder. And those are by Toy Soldiers of San Diego. And I think that um, because of Nick's health, he's the founder of Toy Soldiers San Diego. He's a really nice guy, has a very nice family. Uh, I was able to talk to his wife at the uh, West Coaster, and she was uh, very nice also. Um, I think they sold their business to someone called McShawn's Closet. Anyway, they, make, they were making some really nice figures over there. And then next to that is some figures based on Detail Africa Cord. And you can see those here. Now these, I'm not sure who made these because none of them are marked. As you can see here, no markings. The bases are plastic. The painting is not as good as the uh, DSG or, or even the uh, Britain's Detail. So I'm not sure about um, the heritage of these figures, but I like them. And uh, I would like to buy some more of them because uh, um, I've always been interested in, in uh, the Africa Corps and the war in uh, North Africa. It's pretty cool. Okay, so over here, we have three more original vintage Marks Delta trees. And we have some things from their farm set. Uh, oddly, well, not oddly enough, everything I do is odd, but um, I bought this farm set because I wanted the trees. I didn't care about the rest of it, but it came with these two cows, which are, they're nicely sculpted. I like them. It's pretty good. I like these cows. And besides that, the doctor wanted me to uh, bring her a small stool sample. So I, I'm going to bring this into her. I'm not sure why she wanted a small stool sample, but hopefully that should do the trick. Uh, we have a scarecrow there. Uh, we have a fella standing there with his girlfriend. Uh, actually, that's a pretty big hoe. The feed bags are gigantic. If you tried to lift a feed, I don't even think Dwayne Johnson could lift a feed bag that that size so that's probably not too realistic but anyway then I found something that I have no idea where it came from I'm not even sure if it's marks because I don't recognize the plastic um, marks made the uh, battleground accessories in several different shades of green but this particular green uh, I'm not recognizing so maybe it's from a you know, like one of the very last sets. Um, it has the landing ramp, but it's broken off. And also the uh, turret on this with the machine guns is missing. I have no idea. I'm not sure why I have two uh, life rafts. And even more puzzling or perplexing is the fact that I have Zorro standing in one of the rafts. And I think this Zorro was made from a company in Denmark. 
And I also have Zorro's horse. Um, where he's at right now, I'm not sure. And here's a Jeep. It also has no markings on it to identify it. Now, I know for certain that the this tent set is a reproduction. Uh, you can tell by the plastic on this one. And uh, there's a farmer who looks like he picked up a couple girls hitchhiking and then is now getting ready to bury them in front of his mansion. Now, this mansion is from the uh, uh, blue and gray playset, Civil War playset. And it's in very good condition, so I'm guessing that it's not an original from the Centennial, but probably from the early 1970s. Um, Marx had approached Sears with the idea of uh, presenting historical playsets um, and calling them heritage playsets, and they launched a, an advertising campaign with uh, Walter Cronkite, and it turned out to be a big hit for the Sears uh, catalog, and uh, they made the Alamo, Civil War, um, the Revolutionary War, and one other set, which for some reason I can't think of. Did I mention the Alamo? Oh, Fort Apache. All right, guys. Well, that's all I got for you on this video. It's a strange and weird assortment of figures and accessories that you wouldn't normally put together in a presentation. But... Uh, I want to pack this stuff up and, and get it into storage uh, so I can bring you something else. Uh, and my next video will be a little bit more themed. Uh, it's going to be Tempo, some of my Tempo Crusaders. I, I have quite a number of those. Um, most of them, of course. You guys uh, should take a shot every time I say, It's in storage. <laughs> um... Even I'm getting tired of hearing that. But anyway, guys, thanks for joining the Iggy Army. Thank you for coming to visit me. Uh, leave a comment if you like about maybe if you had some of these things presented here. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care of each other. Be good, all right? And I'll be seeing you soon.